Hello everybody, welcome back to Fire TV, the official Firewind and Gus G YouTube channel. That is me. On today's video, I am going to talk about my most spinal tap moment on stage in my career. Um, which is a question that I get often. What is your most spinal tap moment? I mean, my career has been full of spinal tap moments, but this one that I'm going to talk about was probably, you know, comes in at number one. Well, in case you don't know who Spinal Tap is, it's a fictional band, uh, and it was a movie from the 80s based on a fictional band called Spinal Tap. And, uh, you know, they uh, basically uh, made the movie about all the mishaps of touring bands. And, um, yeah, all the funny moments, basically a parody of a heavy metal band. That's what uh, that's who Spinal Tap was. So, what was my most Spinal Tap moment in my career? This has to be um, a moment back in 2010 when I was in Ozzy Osbourne's band. I was playing guitar for Ozzy, as some of you might remember. Uh, and um, I did this TV show with Ozzy back in 2010 uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, it was right before uh, the tour, the second leg of, uh, uh, or the first U.S. leg of the tour started. I think they flew me in a couple of days before to, to Washington to go out and do this live TV show on American television with Ozzy. Uh, it was um, two comedians, Stephen Colbert and Jon Stewart. I had no clue who these guys were at that time because I am from Greece and uh, for one and also I don't really watch much uh, television. <laughs> uh, anyways, you know, those guys are big comedians and um, they, they had their own TV show and it was a live TV show. It was like, um, I think it was called, it was a rally to restore sanity or fear. That's what they were calling it. And it was live from Washington DC, right in front of a live audience televised and everything um yeah so we were gonna fly there do a quick line check with the band they had a house band they, those guys were amazing amazing musicians and the idea was that ozzy would do uh, a thing with uh cat uh, stevens and they would kind of like play off each, uh, each other's tracks you know cat stevens has a song called peace train and then ozzy obviously a crazy train and they would kind of like go back and forth and it was yeah that kind of a thing and then when Ozzy would go on stage I would go with him and play the riff and um, so let me just give you an idea what that was I've been happy lately thinking about the things to come and I believe it could be Something good has begun. I've been As you can see, a lot of people, a lot of people out there. <laughs> Washington, D.C., right? Um, yeah, big stage to set up, big stage in front of the White House and everything. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's mental, right? So, you know, you can't mess it up. Okay, so now I see it was on Comedy Central, right? Yeah. And lately, dreaming about the world as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna jump a little bit further off. Come on, come on, be straight. Hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, stop, 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 stop. Hang on. No, no, I am sorry. No, I am sorry. Sorry, I Yusuf, don't know what happened. I'm, Yusuf, I'm terribly sorry. Yusuf, Joe, if I may. <laughs> what are you I am doing? Sorry, I respect you. I love you, but I am not getting on that train. What? What are you saying? What, what am I saying? Yes. I'm saying I don't have a ticket for the Show train. Some I am not interested He's in this in train. He's in the middle of a song. It's a beautiful song. You're not getting me on. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll pass to get on it. I don't know what's happening. I don't Where does it stop? Where does it stop? Does it have first class cars? Frankly, I believe I believe this train does not exist. I'm sorry. I, I have a better train, ladies and gentlemen. My train is arriving at the station now. And ladies and gentlemen, the conductor has an important announcement to make. I'm about Hey, 
hey, there I am, right next to the Prince of Darkness. So we go on stage live, okay? And then Okay, when Ozzy gives you that look, it's not good. So what happened? When, well, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm feeling uncomfortable watching this now, like 12 years later. So what happened was, um, we did the line check before the show started, and uh, somebody from the TV station or the stage manager or whoever it was, you know, in charge of, you know, of that thing there, of that stage setup, went in and put my amp on standby. And of course, as you see, this was live. I had no time to go and check gear. You know, when you start, when, when the count of is there, your gear has to be ready. You know, you, you're just performing. You know, see, I have no experience from TV shows. You know, I did a few with Ozzy in my time with Ozzy and to me, it was no different than just performing uh, a live a live show. I just went out there and did my thing. And, you know, my technicians would take care of that. But I think this was, if I remember, I didn't have guitar tech for this. Uh, they just flew us in for this one. And because the whole crew was in another city, because the tour was going to start. So it was basically just me, Ozzy, Sharon, and their assistants that flew in for this show. And I had to rely on the local tech there, who was some guy from the television network that I had no clue. He just saw the amp, oh, this is on, he just turned it off. So that's what happened, guys. And um, this was, yeah, definitely the most embarrassing moment for me. It's kind of funny to look at that now, but yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there was a another a guitar player. The band had a guitar player, and he was playing the, the chords. He didn't do the main riff, because I was supposed to do the main riff of Crazy Train. Uh, and I was on there. I remember just, I just kept thinking to myself, just keep playing or keep acting that you're playing. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I have no sound. Somebody should figure this out. Uh, if you guys can see all the way to the left, there is like, I think it's a Marshall amp or something. Yeah, I think that's the amp that's just not on there. Yeah, I'm glad there was there was a, a backup guitar player there and he could do the chords. At least it was some kind of guitar. You know, it wasn't that kind of that you know specific sound, but yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, look at that crowd. It's massive. Man, <laughs> this is massive. It must have been like, I don't know, 20, 30,000 people there. Okay, so do you see now? Here is where I figure out that my amp is not. You see here on the left? This is where the part where I figure out, okay, somebody turn my amp off. And I go there and I turn it on. But by that time, I was just too low in the mix. And that's television for you folks. You can never control how the mix is going to be out there. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. I will not get on that train. That is not right. That is not right. This, I'm not comfortable on that train. Ozzy, I'm sorry. I'm a very big fan. I'm a very big fan. No. He said. It was going off the rails. Why can't we just stay on the pit? Yusuf, Yusuf, please, 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 Yusuf, 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 please, please, peace train, please, Yusuf. Get your bands together. They'll bring you the friends too. Cause it's getting nearer. But soon we'll be with you. Just come and 
join the divin It's not so far from you And it's getting near Soon it will all be true Oh, peace train sounding loud break on that rainbow moonbeam choo-choo. Stop it. Ozzy, hit it. Okay, so the next time that came around, I could hear a little bit of, my, of me playing the riff. I was back in the mix now. Yeah. But obviously, this was a very embarrassing, very uncomfortable moment for me. I thought I had let Ozzy down. Um, Ozzy later on, I, I apologized to him after he's like, "Don't worry about it." He's like, you know, this is this is how it is. This is rock and roll. Shit like that happens all the time, so don't worry about it. But I just felt really bad because they flew me out there to do this, you know, and I'm I just, yeah, I just didn't get the job done. Yeah. Hey, come on. See, that's why I don't like doing last minute things like that or live things that are not rehearsed or, you know, maybe sometimes a lot of those jam things go wrong because you don't have your sound there and you have no time to do any proper sound checks. And these are um, the things that can go wrong and it can go downhill, you know. Um, so, yeah, folks, there you have it. But this is all history. This is all in the past. And it was an experience. And uh, despite all that, I had a blast that day with Ozzy and Sharon in Washington. And we got to meet uh, also backstage was uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And um, yeah, very tall guy. Yeah, <laughs> we got to meet him. Um, so yeah, there you have it. This was, uh, <laughs> this was my most Spinal Tap moment on stage ever. Um, yeah, that was then. Hope you guys uh, found it entertaining. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, till next time, take it easy.